Hey everybody, I'm Landon with LMR.com. In this video, we're going to explain the disassembly process for the front strut and strut mount in a 1979 to 2004 Mustang. So this process is applicable for 79 to 93 and 94 to 04 Mustangs. This video will prepare you for caster camera plate installation or if you're just simply replacing the front struts. Because this procedure covers a wide year range, some of the hardware sizes that I mentioned may be different, so just keep that in mind. To begin, lift the entire car with a lift or just the front and support the car with jack stands. Go ahead and remove both front wheels. Support the underside of the control arm with the jack. On Fox body applications, loosen and remove the two brake caliper retaining bolts and then hang the caliper out of the way. 94 to 04 Mustang owners will not have to remove the brake caliper. If your 94 to 04 Mustang is equipped with ABS, remove the rubber sleeve from the bracket attached to the frame rail. Dislodge the clip on the metal bracket secured to the strut. Loosen and remove the bracket retaining nut with a 24 millimeter socket and remove the bracket from the bolts. If it's needed, rotate the spindle for additional access to the strut to spindle hardware. Now you can loosen and remove the spindle to strut hardware. Use a 21 millimeter socket on the bolt head and a 24 millimeter combination wrench on the nut. In order to easily remove the bolts, jack up on the control arm to establish a little bit of preload and then remove the bolts. Up top, loosen and remove the strut shaft retaining nut. This is typically a 24 millimeter nut, but it can differ depending on the brand of strut in your car. Remove the large washer. Separate the spindle from the strut and then the strut can be removed from the car. Remove the upper bushing and metal sleeve. If you're just replacing the strut, this is all that is needed. If you're installing caster camber plates, continue with the next few steps. If applicable, carefully drill out the rivet with an eighth inch drill bit. Hold the stud plate with one hand and then loosen and remove the three retaining nuts. Remove the upper plate and stud plate from the car. Go ahead and clean the top of the strut tower. If you don't have a second jack, finish the side you're working on and ensure the strut to spindle hardware has been reinstalled before you remove the jack and go to the other side. If you have one, use another jack to support the control arm on the other side and repeat the steps. To reinstall the strut and any component that was removed, reverse the removal procedure. Please refer to the video description for the torque specs. After that, you're good to go. All right, folks, as always, we hope this video has helped you out. That's all we have for you today. So until we see you in the next one, y'all know what to do for all things 1979 to present Mustang. Keep it right here with the real enthusiasts, LMR.com.